So working from the top down, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do the points on the ignition. Just check the gap. To do this, we need to remove this recoil starter. Now there's four flat hair, um, bolts that we need to remove. One here, one here, one there, and one there. I've already removed those two. And it's just a case of removing the last two. So get our socket, I'll remove them and we'll cut back once it's off. Okay, so I've removed them two now, um, and now it's just a case of pulling it off and stick a little bit. We'll just place that down there. Now there are, there's a rule pin there and a rule pin there. If it's not coming off, that's why, because these are just like dowels that just locate the the, uh, the top here to see where they, they locate and they do offer a bit a bit of resistance so now we've got that off because it's air cooled this is the fan it looks like the flywheel but it's not the flywheel the flywheel's beneath this now again I've already taken two of these flat screw heads out good tip for these ones soak them in um, a bit of penetrating oil I use PB Blaster, just a light squirt on there, just let that soak in. Now if you are struggling to remove these, because they are quite soft, and it's an old engine, they've never been out for a long time, I recommend getting an impact driver, just say, I do recommend getting an impact driver, hit the top with the, the hammer. Find the right size, that's snug, not loose. A couple of taps with that, and it will come out. Because basically you're driving it, you're driving that uh, that flat blade down, and it's given rotational torque as well to undo it. So I'll take them out, and then we'll pop this fan shroud off. Okay, so I've taken those two bolts out. And now, if it doesn't come out, there's a sort of, there's a gap between the casing and this fan. You can get a, a blade in there, or it'll just come off just like that. Depend on how long it's been on for. And on top here, we've got the flywheel. And inside here, you can see the points. And as I rotate it, we're just looking just there, as I rotate it, as you can't see it there, you should see it open and close. What we're going to do when it's fully open, which is just about there, we can take our feeler gauge, and the book says 0.4 mil. And we're just going to run our feeler gauge between the contactors there, which I've got slight resistance. And what that's doing is, as I've run the run the feeler gauge up and down, it is cleaning the, the two contacts. I'm happy with the gap. Obviously, if it's if it's too too tight too wide you need to adjust it which should probably entail taking the flywheel off there's a nut there and you can put a puller put one of them legs there pull it off and, the, and then you can adjust it but I'm happy with that it's pretty clean in there see some of the windings and the condenser yeah so with that done it's just the opposite now we'll just put it all back together and that's the top done. And just like while disassembling it, for the assembly, I put four of the flat blade bolts back in, just nip them down. Next one is the recoil starter on top, and it's just like taking it off, just put it back on, you've got the dowels to realign, and then it's just a firm tap and it should seat, and then you've got two bolts here, two bolts there, long ones at the back, short ones at the front. 
like I mentioned here, when you offer it up, it won't go flush straight away. So just try and get the dowels lined up first and then a tap and that's it seated all the way around. And then obviously you've got your two larger bolts at the back and the two shorter ones at the front. So that's it, that's all four, back on and tightened.